All right, we start with information in the Raleigh mass shooting. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman tells ABC 11 her office is reviewing the use of force by four Wake County Sheriff's deputies according to standard protocol. The five day report released yesterday did not, however, reveal how the alleged 15 year old suspect was critically injured. We asked a law enforcement expert to weigh in on the case. You know, I thought the report was adequate and it gave information that you know, the general public would want to know. However, um, it was elusive uh, relative to how the suspect was injured. Meanwhile, today there will be a visitation for the Raleigh police officer who was killed in the attack while he was off duty. Anna Rivera is live in Raleigh with the latest. Anna? Well, John, that visitation for Officer Torres begins in just a couple of hours, but all week we've seen people paying their respects to Officer Torres. You can see his patrol car draped with that black tarp, and then there are flowers laying on top of the car as people say their final goodbyes. A husband and a father. The Raleigh community will say their final goodbyes to 29-year-old police officer Gabriel Torres. Officer Torres is just one of five people shot and killed by a 15-year-old gunman in the Headingham neighborhood on Thursday. The officer was killed while preparing to go into work, reportedly waiting in his driveway to kiss his wife goodbye before heading in for his shift. The visitation begins at 4 o'clock today at the Mitchell Funeral Home on Glenwood Avenue. And then tomorrow, the funeral services begin at 11 o'clock at Cross Assembly Church on Yonkers Road. Now, Officer Torres is originally from New Jersey, so after the services here in Raleigh, he will be taken to New Jersey for a Catholic Mass, and that is where he will be laid to rest. Now, continue to stay with us because we're going to stay on top of this story. We will be covering his funeral service happening tomorrow at 11 o'clock. You can watch that live stream on ABC11.com and the ABC11 streaming app. Back to you guys. All right, Anna, thank you. And arrangements also being announced for 52 year old Nicole Connors, another victim. She was originally from Dayton, Ohio, so her service will be there next Thursday, October 27th at noon. That service will be live streamed. The celebration of life service for Mary Marshall will be held Saturday, October 29th at 1030 in the morning at Dorothea Dix Park. The service will happen on the same day Marshall was set to marry her fiance, Rob Steele. Also <clears throat> on Saturday, family and friends of Susan Carnass will gather at North Raleigh Presbyterian Church for a celebration of life service. New at noon, an update to share about one of the victims of the shooting who survived. According to a GoFundMe account, 59-year-old Marcia Lynn Gardner had another surgery yesterday to repair her fractured jaw and have a trach placed to continue to provide her supporting in breathing. Lynn remains in ICU with restrictions on visitors due to infection concerns. And a reminder, there will be a public vigil on Sunday to honor the mass shooting victims. Raleigh Healing Together will take place at Licton Plaza in front of the Duke Energy Center for the Performing Arts. The vigil will start at 3 p.m.